All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon Sun and Moon Wi-Fi battle. Today we're having a Pew tier match against my girlfriend Naomi. And uh, forgive me guys, it is really hot in my room, so I have my fan on. Hopefully you guys can't hear that. Um, but anyway, looking at her team, she's got the Grumpig, Mudsdale, Alolan Persian, Victory Bell, Grand Bull, and a Stantler. While looking at my team, I've got a nice Levani with Sticky Webs, Lantern, Hitmonchan, Pyroar, Ponyard, and the Grand Bull. So this team I built around Sticky Webs. Basically, the idea is to slow down my opponent's team and basically hit hard with everything else on my team. So um, this is a pretty fun team to use uh, when it works. I think I've used it maybe like once on the channel. Um, but it's been a while, so anyway guys, this battle was fun. I hope you guys will enjoy. So the battle begins. I'm going to lead off with my Levani as my opponent is going to lead off with her Grumpig. So this kind of tells me she probably has the Magic Coat, um, which would be able to bounce back my Sticky Web. So predicting that, I am actually going to go for the knockoff on the first turn here, as that is exa exactly what she goes for. And uh, Knockoff is going to get some solid chip damage off on this Grumpig, as well as give me the opportunity to knock off her Light Clay. And uh, this definitely helps out my team a lot, because now her screens are not going to last nearly as long. And it uh, helps out my team, because I'm using a more offensive team. Um, so here, I'm going to bring out the Ponyard, as my opponent is going to go for the Reflect. And on the following turn, my opponent's going to have to get the hell out of here, because she does not want anything. She does not want any of what Ponyard is selling, so... She's actually going to swap out. She's going to bring out Bullseye, which is the Mudsdale, I believe, yeah. So I went for the Swords Dance there because I didn't want to give her a stamina boost if that's what she decided to go for. And it is, so I'm going to have to get the hell out of here because I definitely do not want to take an Earthquake or anything that this Mudsdale wants to go for. So I'm actually going to go back out into Lee Vanny. She's going to go for the High Horsepower, which... Honestly, I don't understand why people go for high horsepower rather than Earthquake. Earthquake is literally better in every way. But uh, anyway, she's going to have to swap out now, and this gives me the perfect opportunity to go ahead and set up my Sticky Webs, as my opponent is going to bring out the Grand Bull. And uh, it's going to get the Intimidate, lowering my attack by one stage. Does not matter at all, Lee Vanny's just kind of here. <laughs> and uh, I actually am mixed. So I'm actually going to go for a Leaf Storm here. I know Grand Bull's more physically defensive. This Leaf Storm actually does a shit ton of damage. I was not expecting that much damage at all. And uh, here I was just kind of leaving Lee Annie in to die because she didn't have a Defogger or a Rapid Spinner on her team. So my Sticky Webs are there to stay. Um, so she actually swaps out here. Uh, I'm not really sure why. <laughs> but anyway, she's going to bring out the Victory Bell now. And uh, it's going to take a round of Sticky Webs and... Uh, this Leaf Storm here, obviously, Leaf Storm at minus two is not going to do much damage. Now I'm at like minus four, and uh, I believe here I just go for a knockoff as my opponent is going to swap out again for some reason. <laughs> not sure why, but um, I'll be able to knock off uh, Garfield's item here as well. Um, I can't remember. I think she, I think it was carrying a Heat Rock, so this is definitely a Sun Team, yeah, which makes sense. I mean, she has the the Victory Bell, and <laughs> why would you ever use a Victory Bell? on a non-sun team. So here, I'm just going to go for a Leaf Storm. Tr Honestly, I've been trying to kill off my Leaf Annie all this time, and she just has not killed it off yet. So she's going to set up the Sunny Day, which honestly doesn't bother my team at all, just because I have the Sticky Web up. So it's going to kind of limit what the Victory Bill will be able to do. So here, I'm just going to knock off again, just for, <laughs> honestly, just chip damage. Um, any damage is good damage as far as I'm concerned. So finally... Lee Vanny is going to go down here. So Lee Vanny actually putting in the finest of work this battle. <laughs> you never see that. Um, so here I'm going to bring out Bob Barker. And uh, I kind of figured it would... My opponent had a pretty big ice weakness. So I kind of figured she'd bring out something weak to ice. So I go for ice punch. But she actually brings out the Grand Bull. And uh, this actually works out well too. Because had I gone for like drain punch it wouldn't have done as much. Uh, because being a fairy Grand Bull actually resists that. So the Ice Punch is going to do decent damage, obviously it's going to eat it because of the Intimidate <laughs> and uh, being probably max HP, max defense. But uh, here I'm actually going to take this opportunity to bring out my own Grand Bull <laughs> and uh, get some Intimidate action going on here. My opponent is going to go straight for the Z move, it's going to be Z Heal Bell, <laughs> which funnily enough, like we, we didn't talk about our teams any uh, prior to the battle, I'm actually using a Z Heal Bell. Uh, Grand Bull myself here, so we, we're basically rocking the same set, probably. Um, so here, she's going to be fully healed due to the Z Heal Bell, and uh, she's going to swap out into the 
Ah, what is this thing called? Mudsdale. <laughs> I couldn't remember. Uh, here, I'm just going to go for the play rough. It actually does decent damage. I'm not going to lie. That's pretty uh, pretty damn impressive. But unfortunately, she's going to get the stamina boost. And uh, it's going to keep uh, raising her defense. The sun is going to go away, which is honestly fine. I basically did a good job of stalling out the sun there. Um, here, I basically decided I don't really need Grand Bull for anything. Um, so I'm just going to kind of stay in here and uh, just try to whittle away at this Mudsdale as best I can. And uh, eventually, once Grand Bull goes down, just bring in like Lantern or something and just do work. So basically, that's what I'm going for. And uh, I believe this last... Yeah, this last high horsepower or whatever is going to kill off my Grand Bull. And I believe I go out into my Lantern here. And uh, here I probably should have gone for the Specs Hydro Pump. I didn't want to miss. Plus, like I said before, her team is pretty weak to Ice. I just go for the Specs Ice Beam as she brings out the Grand Bull. Not Grand Bull, sorry. <laughs> the Grumpig, rather. They have similar names. <laughs> and uh, Grumpig, unfortunately, gets the Thick Fat ability. So this Ice Beam is not going to do much damage at all. Which is why I really wish I went for Hydro Pump, but it's okay. <laughs> it's all good. So here, I'm going to bring out the Pontiard once again, as my opponent, I believe, goes for the Light Screen. I guess she thought I would maybe stay in or something. I have no idea. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, that's fine. Light Screen literally does not affect Pontiard at all. <laughs> so here, I believe I go for the Iron Head, as my opponent is going to bring out Molly, which is the Grand Bull. She, I think she said she forgot that uh, Defiant is a thing. So she's actually going to activate my Define ability with her Intimidate, and that's going to give me a plus two attack boost. So yeah, this Iron Head is going to do a dick load of damage to this Grand Bull. Unfortunately, it doesn't kill, but that's fine. I definitely outspeed this thing, and I can kill it off with yet another Iron Head. And uh, <laughs> this following turn, oh my god, guys, I'm so sorry. I'm just warning you guys, trigger warning. Uh, this following turn is uh, is a bad one. I choked so bad here. So I kind of figured with the sticky webs up, I should actually outspeed this thing. And she actually has Intimidate on Stantler as well. So I'm going to get another Defiant boost, guys. Oh my god, I'm so sad that I choked this away. So I thought I would outspeed because of the sticky web, so I didn't go for Sucker Punch. I'm such an idiot. I should have made the safe play. My gut was literally telling me Sucker Punch. But I went for Knock Off because I'm, <laughs> I'm an idiot. Oh, man, that sucks. So I literally probably would have swept her team with Pontiard <laughs> had I just gone for the Sucker Punch there. But here, I'm just going to have to bring out Hitmonchan as my opponent is going to bring out Baconator. <laughs> and I'm just going to go for Drain Punch because either way, I know it's a 2-hit KO on this thing. I've seen how much Drain Punch does to uh, my own Grumpig, so I knew it would be a, a pretty safe 2-hit KO. So I'm just going to go for two Drain Punches here that is going to kill off her... her ah, God, fucking words... It's going to kill off her Grumpig. <laughs> and uh, let's see, what's he... Okay, she brings out Garfield next. I don't know why she brought this thing out. Um, with the Sticky Web, I'm going to be able to outspeed. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to Drain Punch this thing <laughs> into the fucking next galaxy. So that's going to kill off the uh, Alolan Persian as well. I believe her next Mon is going to be the Victory Bell, if I'm not mistaken. I believe... Let's see... Yeah. Okay, so here, I believe I just go for the Ice Punch, and guys, <laughs> I actually calced it, and there was actually a pretty solid chance that I would kill this thing, but unfortunately, I'm Chad, and of course, she lives on a damn sliver of health. She's going to activate her Citrus Berry, and uh, she's going to get some HP back. Not that it matters too much, and uh, she goes for the Sleep Powder. She missed her Sleep Powder, which really sucks for her. Honestly, I don't think, it, had she landed the Sleep Powder, it definitely would have made the battle... A little bit longer and a little bit more difficult for me but I had lantern in the back I really don't think her landing sleep powder would have affected this battle in any way so now she's gonna bring out the uh, Stantley here Stantler the god and uh, she's got the intimidate which is gonna suck but um yeah I'm just gonna stay in here go for the mock punch I believe she goes for the retaliate here which is going to fucking annihilate me I think retaliate like doubles in power if you knocked out if your opponent like knocked out one of your mons, which I did the turn prior. So that is going to annihilate Hitmonchan. <laughs> and uh, here, I just bring out Pyroar, and I can basically eat up... Or, not eat up. <laughs> I can basically outspeed the rest of her team and uh, kill everything with a Hyper Voice. So for whatever reason, she swaps out into the Mudsdale. Mudsdale is not going to be able to take... <laughs> ah, fuck. I swear I cannot talk today. Jesus Christ. Mudsdale is not going to be able to take a Choice Specs... Hyper Voice 
from my pyroar is what I was trying to say. I don't know why that was so difficult. Um, so next, her last mon is the Stantler. And of course with these sticky webs, she's not going to be able to outspeed me. And uh, I'm just going to be able to kill this thing off with a <laughs> another hyper voice. So good game, Bay. And uh, we'll definitely battle again sometime. I hope you guys are enjoying these PU tier matches. I definitely am. I love the PU tier. I know you guys are going to want to see some other stuff, but don't... Don't worry guys, I got you, don't worry. <laughs> I'm actually team building uh, for other tiers, so um, once, I, once I'm done with teams, you'll, you guys will definitely be seeing them. So anyway guys, I'm going to get out of here guys. I love you. Peace out.